Hello everyone. Today I'll continue talking about BIOS extraction from executable files. So if for example we have a motherboard with two BIOS chips, so you need to program them both. One is the main BIOS, the other is the AC BIOS or the KBC BIOS. <clears throat> and you want the pin files of those BIOS so you go to the manufacturer website and you download the BIOS the update okay <clears throat> sorry my voice <clears throat> okay so I downloaded this for a Toshiba C850 module and also I have these two backups of original BIOS File. So this is the AC backup bin and also this is the main backup bin <clears throat> As you can see the size of the AC backup is always lower than or smaller than the main BIOS Okay, so the one for the AC is 2048 kilobytes and the one for the main backup for the main BIOS I mean is 4096 kilobytes Okay, so now we have this file, the executable file from the manufacturer website. What we need to do is extract it using 7-zip seven zip, seven zip, uh, extraction tool. So extract. I need to tell you something about this extraction. When you extract using 7-zip, sometimes if you extract using 7-zip, it will not bring your needed files inside this folder it will not bring the file that you need inside this folder but instead it will keep it in a temporary file in the system temporary files so you need to go to C then <clears throat> users then the one that you are using the account that you are using then go to app data then local, then temp, then you will find it here called 7z and the name of the file that you have extracted. Once you open it, you copy the file that you need. But if you don't want it to bring it here, what you need to do, I'll go back now. <clears throat> okay, if you don't want it to take it there to the temporary file but instead do it in this folder where you are working you open the 7-zip tool this is the program the 7-zip you go to tools options then folders then change this working folder instead of system temp folder choose current so this will make it extract all files in the the current file where you are extracting it okay apply and okay <clears throat> okay now we have the extracted folder of the exe file from the web, uh, from the manufacturer manufacturer website so we open this okay so now we have these <clears throat> files to exe files or three and when bad all of them are not usable yet so as you can see we have here f.exe with a size of 40 sorry 40 0 20 kilobit kilobyte and the one the f8 is 40 330 so this one is a bigger so we use this one again we will extract this one using 7-zip okay so extract close then we open this f8 folder <clears throat> now we have this file the fd file dot fd two of them 
one is short this is for the me region firmware we don't want it for now and the other one is 6144 kilobytes this one that we need so i will copy it copy i'll bring it back to the main folder here okay <clears throat> as you can see now we have the original ec backup with 2048 kilobytes and we have the main backup for of uh, 4.096 and the uh, the one from the manufacturer is 6.144 megabytes so if we calculated these two add of uh, uh, if we add these two together we get this size so now we need to do is <clears throat> cut this file into two so we get the ac and we get the main file of it so we open this hex editor and we drag this folder first so now we opened this the one from the manufacturer again i will drag the ec and the main so what now we have the three of them opened in the hex editor so now we go to window and tile vertically as you can see now we have three of them opened <coughs> The one, the first one is the main backup, the second is the EC, and the third one here is the one from the manufacturer. This one, the one that I will uh, use and cut it to make new files, okay? I will not use these because these are, for example, they are corrupted. So, as you can see, the one from the manufacturer start with 16 f's then 5a a5 f0 0 f if you find it starting with this 16 f's and then 5a a5 f0 0 f then this means that this is the me region and we know that the me region goes to the ec bios only if you go to ec bios we find it start with f f f f f f 16 times then f uh, 5 a a 5 f 0 0 f okay and if we go to the main it start with the different values so <coughs> we know that the one from the manufacturer start with the ac then afterwards the main main bios so what we need to do is now go to the AC and go to the last values and check, click here at the last value. It is at offset 2097144 is here. So 4445464. Four eight, four nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two. So it's at offset two zero nine seven one one fifty two. And if you can see here, it's written two zero nine seven one fifty two. So we go to the the bias from the manufacturer, and we go to go to this offset. I already tried it it's 2097152 so we go go it will take us to this <coughs> offset where did it go i will do it again i'll go back to the zero i will go okay so it took us to 2097144 exactly the same as this one but it is taking us to here okay so as you can see 
52. So we need to copy everything from here. Okay? Everything from here till the offset 0. We press shift and press here. Everything is now selected. I will go copy. I will open a new folder with nothing on it. Okay, so paste. Okay. I will save this. Save as to this folder where we are working. I will give it a name as new EC BIOS. Okay, dot bin. And I will save it. <clears throat> now this is saved. Let me open these three vertically again. So this one now, uh, the one from the manufacturer where we worked. Now this is still selected. What I need to do is press right click on it and delete. Delete the selected. Okay, so now everything is deleted. As you can see, it starts with 7816000SE or, or 5E, I mean. As you can see, the one I have here, the main, main backup. 78160005 e so now i will save this again okay i will save it i will go to save as again new main <coughs> bios dot bin okay so did not write anything new okay so new main bios dot pin okay so save if i go now to the folder as you can see we have a new ec bios and we have new main bios and if you can see the sizes of them, the EC BIOS is 2048 kilobytes as the one from the backup, EC backup, 2048. And the one from the main, uh, for the main BIOS is 4096, exactly the same as the one from the backup. So these two are now are ready to be flashed to the BIOS chips, okay? So this is how you extract the EC BIOS and the main BIOS from the executable file from the manufacturer website. Okay, so I hope you find this uh, really easy to understand and very helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.